recorded as well. There we go. So let me skirt skirt revert back one. 4.2621. We're going to open that up. Again, everything will be free assets that you can go and download. Why is my phone going off? I need to put you on silent. Thank you. All right, so we're going to do games. We're going to do a third person template. We are going to use starter content because that is going to have some of our stuff in there. We are going to call this landscape auto material. Okay, so we're just going to call it auto material. It's probably spelled wrong, but whatever. We're going to let this load up. And there are two things from the asset store that we need to import into this right here. Again, they are free. And they are actually very decent looking uh, asset packs. While this loads, actually, we can go ahead and open up this. Professional Bark, Professional Bark Bark Gamer. Thank you for the follow. Um, all right, so we're going to dismiss that. Now we're going to go ahead and open up this. We are going to go to my lab. Well, we'll go to Marketplace. See if I can find them on there first. Uh, temperate. Which one is it? I think it's that one. I already have it, but everything from Project Nature, if you just go to Project Nature, um, every one of these that I own is free. So feel free to go to, they're pretty much all free, but feel free to go to Project Nature and get all these assets. I'm a professional chicken. Oh, that's what that means. Okay. All right. Well, the more you know. All right, so we're going to get the one that said optimized. Where was it at? Where did you go? There you are. So we want this one here, and then we're also going to be using the spruce one, and we are going to be using the berry one just for bushes to have. Like I said, I already have them, so I'm going to go ahead and type in temperate. And we are going to add this to auto material. That's really bright. I don't have a light on behind me. Holy shit. So we're going to add that one. It should already, yeah, they're already cached. So we're good there. This one isn't, so this one might take a second, but it'll be all right. I don't know why it's taking forever, because it's cached already. Come on, little one. Come on, then. There we go. Yep, verify. Oh, look at that. All right, and now we are going to do this one as well. Come on. I also started to stream like an hour early. I was going to do it at 10, but my daughter fell asleep way sooner than I thought she was going to. So I'm also recording it at the same time so it can go on to my tutorial channel. Um, all right. And do we want to do? Yeah, we'll do the berry one. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the project as well so we can have some type of bushes. I did not have this one cached, so how's your day? Night, morning, evening, whatever it is for whoever you are that's watching this at this time of you watching. <laughs> All right, come on. Cool. Now once you have these, you can go ahead and exit out of that. 
and then go into your content and you should have all the project nature stuff. So what we're gonna do here is go to the world outliner and for the arena stuff, goodbye. Uh, we'll leave the lighting. All of this stuff can go away because I don't care about any of that. I don't care about the post-processing volume. I don't care about you, you, or you. So all that can go away. Um, I hate, I hate this fucking shit. So we're going to turn that off real fast. I absolutely despise auto exposure. We are going to make these movable. And we are going to turn that down. We're going to make it use temperature and go to 1200 just because I like that color. All right, and then we are going to drag all of this into there so that way we have a tidier area to work in. Now we are going to go to modes. We are going to go to landscape. And we are going to drop in a landscape. Um, for the sake of this, we're just going to do how we have here. Hit create. And there we go. Look at that. We have a little tiny landscape. All right. Now we are going to go back to select and we are going to create a folder called materials and here we are going to create a material and we are going to call this m underscore m for material um, landscape auto material and now we are going to right click on that and we are going to create a material instance of it we are going to click on the landscape go to our details panel scroll down and drag the instance into there and then we are going to create I was about to say it should turn black okay now we are going to create three material functions so we go into material material function we're going to call this grass and then we are just going to simply duplicate we are going to call this stone and then we are going to duplicate again because I can never find that we are going to call this dirt. Right? Stone, grass, dirt. Yes. Going over my notes. All right. Now, with these the way that they are, you obviously can't use them. So we're going to go ahead and open up our landscape material itself. We are going to sit that there for now. And then we are going to go into a... I have a second content browser window for this specific reason. And we are going to search for grass. We are going to search for the material. Okay, I lied. We are going to search for grass. Which is here somewhere. I just don't know where. Good God, I probably shouldn't have added these packs in right away. Because we want a specific, we want the starter, con actually, it's in starter content. There we go. We want to open that up, and we want to control copy. And then we want to open the grass here. We want to paste. If you have your own grass, then you can use your own grass. That's perfectly fine. And then we're going to open up dirt, and we're going to open up stone. And then we're going to go back over here, and we're going to type in dirt. Okay, we don't have anything for dirt. What was it that I used then? Was it gravel? It was gravel. We used gravel for dirt. We are going to copy that. And we are going to come back over here, and we are going to paste it. Oh, my sweet Jesus. There we go. All right. And then we are going to... See, on the one that I did, I have all custom stuff from assets that I've actually purchased. But since y'all may not have those, I decided to go and use this stuff. I could actually just go into here. Don't know why I didn't do that last time. Uh, let's see, what what's a nice little, oh, there we go, that's a nice little rock material there, kind of fucking like it, alright, I see, I see what you're doing there, Epic, we're going to copy this as well, we're going to go into stone, 
We're going to zoom way out because I was not zoomed out far enough last time. And shh, son of a bitch. Come on, unclick you. Let's go ahead and drag that in just a little bit there. All right, and then we can get rid of these. I don't care. Go away. All right. Now. Yeah, Brushify is a whole different... Brushify has their own auto landscape material. Why are you in here for this one? I mean, I like that you're here, but... Sarah 3D, hello. Uh, we want to make material attribute. And we get this, you know, long, loving list of half of the stuff that I honestly couldn't tell you what the hell it is whatsoever. Um, but this right here should be the base color. I'm pretty sure this should be roughness. And if I'm not mistaken, that one is obviously the normal because it is blue. And we should have the exact same stuff that we had last time. Hey, we stole a material and we copied it. Look at that. Hit apply. And then save. And we can close that one out. Now for dirt, we want to do the same thing. We want to break out, make material attribute, and then same follows. This is the base color. This is the roughness. This is the, where did it go? The normal. Sarah3D, thank you for the follow. Um, I'm doing okay. I literally made this auto material a couple days ago and I'm trying to remember how to do it all off the top of my head. I do have my notes in my actual project in the other window that I will be going off of because I know for a fact that I'm going to forget something. Um, so yeah, that's how things are going right now. Hit apply. It is a very useful skill to have. That is very correct. You are definitely right on that one. That's why I had to learn my own because the one of the assets that I have has their own um, auto, auto landscape material, but I just, I didn't know how they made it, so I couldn't modify it to my own liking, so I just decided to make my own and go from there. All right, and you are the base color. You are roughness. And you would be the normal. And then apply and save. And this should turn into that stone material that we love. Oh, there it is. Look at that great ball of rock right there, boy. Hate to get hit in the face with that thing. All right. And now we're going to bring this out. So that way when we come over here, we can grab our stone, our grass, and our dirt. Drag it and drop. And bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Look at that. Uh, we want stone right there, there. And we want grass right here. If you were to, like, put snow in here or mud you could do the exact same you would just have to place them where they would be at um, I'll try to explain that a little bit better as I go because I know that probably made absolutely like no logical sense staying staying what I just said right there all right so we want to come off each one of these and say break material attribute and for a lack of time we're going to control C V V. And these are all going to go into them. Their respective owners. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. This is going to look like <clears throat> complete fucking spaghetti, just so you know. Like, I blueprint code all day long, and I can make those look nice and pretty. However, I cannot make this look nice and pretty, and I have tried. I promise you. Oh, I promise you. It it's it's scary. Oh god. Oh, I can blueprint all day long. Like I'll blue I will blah blah blah. I'll blueprint my ass off. All right. So first things first, we are going to need lerps. Lerps are called lerps, but to find them, they are linear. I can't spell. Interpolates. Right? Right. Pretty sure that's right. I'm probably wrong, but right now it's right. 
And what we want to do is grab the normal from stone and I don't remember where that went that goes into a that goes there and then we want to grab the normal from dirt that goes into B if I can read apparently I can't now if we plug this in directly over to this thing we'll have a 50 50 mixture That's not right. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. I jumped the gun on that. Okay. Either way. Just follow as I go for this, and it will eventually turn out the right way. But I know for a fact those go there. I just plugged that in too soon. Um, off of the alpha, we want to get a world align blend. And then from here, we want to get two things we want to get a um i forget what the fuck it's called scalar something or other scalar parameter there it is and then we want one for the blend as well i just said i could make tutorials okay i never said i was really good at them I just know that I did it once and I can do it again. Um, we are going to call this one. This is the grass dirt. Or I'm sorry, stone dirt sharp. Stone dirt sharpness. This one is going to be the stone dirt blend. Could call it bias as well, but... For this reason, I'm not. I know for a fact that the value of 30 works inside of that. And I know that the value of negative 3 works inside of here. I will show you how to make these, um, how you can access these without having to come back inside the blueprint every single time. And then we do that and that sits off to the side all nice and pretty right there lord have mercy this spaghetti that i'm looking at over here is absolutely insane so now we want another scalar parameter i lied we want a what the hell was it called linear interpolate and then we want to drag this into the alpha or not alpha but a and then we want b to be the normal for grass. And then the alpha for it, we're just gonna copy, paste that, because I know that that goes into you. And then We are going to control C, control V as well, again. And these need to go up here so that way we know later on. I mean, you can comment it out if you want, that's fine. But I'm doing this so that, oh God, no. You're in there, you're in there. So that way we know that this belongs up here to the grass. I mean, the name itself should give it away, but you know. What did I, grass, dirt, sharp. Grass, dirt, sharp. Grass, dirt, blend. These do have different values. Uh, let's see. Of 21. No savage. And I think that was negative 5. I feel like if, if it seems like I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. I'm actually, I am kind of nervous making this tutorial because it's the first time I've ever made a tutorial on something that I didn't actually know off top of my head. So, if you actually, like, those of you that are watching, stay and make it all the way to the end, um, I'll be shocked. 
All right. Make my notes here a little bigger. So we've got these two. I'm just going to try and work from the bottom up and call it a day. We want a layer blend. Um, I don't know what layer blend. Landscape layer blend? No. Shit. You know what I can do? Is that. Is it called a material expression? I don't remember. I actually don't remember what it was called. Um, yeah, so in the description below, once I put this on YouTube, I will tell you what it was, because right now I don't fucking remember. Oh, wait. There it is. Landscape layer blend. All right, took a second, but there we go. Uh, landscape layer blend, and we want one, two, three, four. Yeah, we want four of them. Now we'll do it like this. The first one is going to be generated, because that's going to be our basic ground generated. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to call it. This one is should be give it. This one is gonna be grass. And then it was stone, right? No dirt. And then stone. Yeah. Wow, that actually scared me for a second. I can't believe I was like what? I had like a, a brain fart there for a second. Alright. And then from this, we want to go into layer generated. And then we're just going to control VV because we need th three all together. And then the normals. Yeah, the normals for each of these are going to go into their respective areas. Layer dirt or rock, dirt, and then the normal for grass. And then this one is going to be the roughness for stone. If I'm not mistaken. Let me double check before I fucking fuck that away. Yeah. This is going to be the roughness. Roughness, roughness, roughness. And then this is going to be the base color of each of them. I'm pretty sure of that one at least. Yep. And then we need two more lerps. So we're just going to control C, control V. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break that node for those two. We're going to bring these up here because this one needs to go to you and this one needs to go to you. And then off of them, we are going to go from B of this one to roughness. And then A should be, or I'm sorry, B of the other one should be base color. And then from here, our with vertex normal should go, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm just, all types of fucked up right now. The alpha from you goes into you. And it goes, yeah, it goes into the other one as well. We're almost done. We're actually almost finished. And then we need two more lerps, and that's all the lerps we're going to need. Control C, Control V. We're going to put these about right there. And then... This one's going to plug into that one. And this one is going to plug into that one. 
And then off of the others, we are going to drag A to the base color of U for that. Let's go ahead and drag these down just a little bit more. And then A for U is roughness for him. B is roughness for you. And B of the top lerp is the base color. Somehow I feel like this is going to be totally fucked up in the end. But hey, you live and you learn. And then zoom out just a hair. This alpha goes to there. This alpha goes to here. If you're actually not learning anything in this tutorial, I apologize. But this is the best way that I've learned how to do it. And that should be everything. We should be connected up everywhere we need to be. Oh, I lied. This alpha needs to be with explicit normal. Right? Yes. And the same for this one. All right, and then we need to grab you and plug them into their respective areas, your normal, your roughness, and your base color, and we should get, yeah, 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 that should be what we got. Hey, what's up, Cole? Uh, ignore these right now for the time being. We don't need them just yet. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what we should have right now. And this should be, like, shiny as well with it. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Because for some reason, it has an issue. Ah, there's a bug in UE4. I, it happened to me last time as well. However, or maybe because I, oh, I didn't click apply yet. Now the landscape should be shiny as can be. Yep, there it is. Oh, hello. All right, and the reason that it is shiny as can be is because we have not assigned our layers yet. Yeah, see, now it's doing it. So now I need to just put you in there. Gimme. Give, give there they are. And now you just need to do this piece right here. Put them in any folder you want because you're never going to see these again. And I do mean you're never going to see them again. I'm just going to throw them all into this little area over here, like so. And, well, there you go. Now you see we have grass. All right. Now let's go back into here. Now if we hit play, yeah, look at that, we have grass. Isn't that amazing? All right. Now let me go ahead and go back into the landscape. And let's sculpt just a hair beat. Rocks are where rocks should be. It doesn't look like it's, you know, it's not tessellated or anything. And yeah. Look at that. Ooh, it's a bit stretched on the blend though, but that is okay, because I can show you where to fix that in just a minute. All right, so we go back to select, we save it. I don't know why it makes everything blocky for a second, it just does that, I guess in 4.26. Um, we need to save all. 
just in case this crashes on me for whatever damn reason, because it is unreal after all. Um, now, with that being that, we could go back into landscape, and we can go to paint, and we can select the grass, we can select the dirt. Do I want dirt over here? Yes, I do. Do I want some stone right over in this generator? Genera generation, there it is. Um, and once the shaders finish compiling, there we go. Oh, uh, that's why that happened. Okay, so this is the rock. And this is the dirt. So no rock actually really showed up. That That's that blend right there. It's rock trying to show up behind it. So, to fix this issue, we need to... Is it, is it, is it, the original one. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, it's the, it's this one. And then we need to check all of these on, bring this down some like this. And just play around with these. That's too much grass. Do it like that. And then bring this to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. You can play around with those numbers and get it more precise to what you want. But that's how you change that. See, now it's rock and not actual dirt that's there. Um, so that's entirely up to you on how you want it to look. So now if we go back into our landscape auto material, now we need to do a landscape grass output. Yes, I'm aware. We are going to have two grass types. Uh, and we need landscape layer blends again. Landscape layer blend. And we are just going to add one to each of them. And these have to be named exactly as they were named before. Generated. And then this one here will be called grass. And then it's not going to do anything at this moment, but you can go ahead and hook these up to this. And we're just going to call that grass. And we are going to call this grass 2. Just, again, for the sake of this tutorial. Um... And then the normal from grass goes into layer for the grass. And then layer generated, I believe, goes up into this up here for the explicit normal. Yes, it is. I remember. All right. Now, with these, that's fine. Now, over here, we need what's called grass types. This is where those two assets come into play. We right click, we do foliage, landscape, grass type. I'm just going to call this grass one. And then I'm just going to fucking duplicate it because I'm lazy. And we are going to call this, look at that, already did it for me. It already knew what was coming. Call this grass two. Now, this is where it gets fun. Because if you notice, when we hit play, well, I mean, yeah, sure, we have our, you know, landscape material sitting here, but I pretty sure nobody wants to sit here and paint grass for 17 hours because I know I damn sure don't because again I'm lazy so if I can make something do it for me guess what it's gonna fucking do it for me now we need to go ahead and add I'm gonna put two members down and we need to find a static mesh now let me also do this and then we are going to go into the grass library we are going to find a static meshes and let's see. This is also a practice for you to try and learn. 
I'm gonna go ahead and open grass, gra grass, grass zero four zero four mesh. It's gonna take forever because it has to compile fucking shaders. Oh, okay, so wild compile shaders. How y'all been? What are y'all doing? How's everything going with you guys? Oh, we're done. Oh, it, okay, so he already has it set up to auto compute, but I'm gonna jack it up to set. I'm sorry, I'm gonna jack it up to eight. So that way the LODs, if you look up over here, they change like almost instantly to save on performance. And with now that being done, I'm going to grab it. Just why not grab it and I'm going to highlight it and boop, and there it goes. Look at that. And now down here, we are going to go get, I don't want to ruin the view. So I'm going to zoom out here. And we're gonna grab this grass, do the same thing. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your fucking uncle. Don't know where he lives, cause he's not mine, but sure. And input. And then for the second grass density, you always wanna bring it down a little bit. So I'm gonna say 150. Again, numbers you can play with on your own. Uh, the cold distance is where it starts to disappear at. You can also have it scaled uniform. You can have it scale free. I just leave it at uniform for the sake of this fucking tutorial. And grass two is where lay bush lays are going to come into play. So if we go back and we go to our wild berries. Uh, let's see. Meshes. Let's do blueberry. And we'll open up Blueberry 05, and again, shaders need to compile. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Jack you up to 8, bada bing bada boom, there we go. Come on with the shaders. And boom, look at that pretty little blueberry bush. Oh my god, I want to eat it. So we go here. Bring you down. Boom. I don't really want many of these to spawn. Well, no, actually, you know, well, no. Yeah, we'll say 200. And then we want to open up... We'll do blueberry 8. What is that? Yep, that's a pretty colorful looking one. She's got a lot of life ahead of her. Uh, and then we want to slam you in that right there. Call this 100. And there's that. Boom. Apply. Now these should automatically be on the landscape. Assuming that I didn't... Oh, nope, there it goes, because it's compiling shaders. So I guess I did everything right. Well, actually, yep, these grass maps need to be rebuilt. So build the little tick arrow, build grass maps. You can do it every time. I really don't care, but... Okay. Where's my grass at? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it probably help if we assigned him, wouldn't it? Lord have mercy. Now they'll be there. Good Lord in heaven. That literally just made me nervous. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're there for sure now. Yeah. Alright, hold on one second before... Hey, it's... I had a long day, okay? You live, you learn. I need to go smoke a cigarette. 
And there you go. Look at that. The berry bushes are off somewhere. Now, if you notice here, my rocks don't have anything growing on them. My dirt doesn't have anything growing on them. Don't say that. Don't say what. I've said a lot of stuff in the past, like, two minutes alone. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's the grass. I don't know why it looks like that. Honestly, I have no clue. But... I don't know. This right here is kind of tripping me out. Anyway. So yeah, there's that. Where are my bushes at? Why do I only have grass? What what is going on here? Fuck it. Let's like let's just slam it with fucking foliage. Let's do it, buddy. Cause I love 50 FPS. My video card is also like complete ass, so there's that. Oh no. Alright, anyway, there's that. I don't know why the bushes aren't showing up for whatever reason. Unless they are and I just don't see them. Maybe they're tiny tiny. But at any rate, there you go. There you, now you got your grass. Now, if I come over here, still, that's tripping me out as to why that looks like that. Oh! Is there a sphere reflection thingy still? No, there's not. Um, right. Okay. Okay, I understand. But yeah, being that the landscape knows, we can actually close out the landscape now. We are done with that. If you go into here and I choose this and I paint some right there, I don't have grass there anymore, obviously, because, well... There's stone. It knows to only put the grass on the layer that's generated called grass. Which is that. Now, if we, moving along, we're finished actually with this piece right here. We're good there. I'm going to take that back to medium because I like FPS. Um, we're going to save. We're going to hide that tab because I don't know why it always shows up. I don't like it. It doesn't like me. We have a mutual disagreement. All right, now to make your forests, this is where it can go bad or it can go good. This is where it can all boil down. Why? Oh, wait, let me close my other editor because I don't need that anymore because I had two of them open. There we go. I had two editors open. Forgot I had the other editor open. Plus, I'm streaming. Plus, I'm recording. I got a lot of stuff happening right now in my system and my... Th computer is probably like fucking choking on itself right now yeah i've already got six drop frames but whatever so that being that has the stream been glitchy i feel like i need to set this all to medium that way that doesn't drop because i am pushing this shit hella hard but anyway either way at medium it still looks fucking dope um, I take that back. There we go. There we go. Now it doesn't look so... Yeah, there we go. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Jesus Christ. Alright, so now what we're going to do is procedurally generate a forest. So to do that, we actually have to go into the editor settings and type in foliage and tech tick tech check bada bing fucking pay the bill procedural foliage has to be checked and then we come over here and we go to foliage and we I'm sorry not foliage uh no yeah foliage there it is procedural foliage spawner 
we're going to call this trees because I'm like the absolute best at naming shit. We're going to open this up. We're going to leave these how they sit and we are going to add four things. Now, if you notice right there, it says it needs a foliage type. Now, I'm pretty sure that it does not have foliage types in here already. Uh, no, it does not. Yeah, it doesn't. So what we need to do is create some foliage types again. So we go to foliage. Static mesh foliage should be a foliage type. We're going to call that tree one, and then we're just going to duplicate it so it renames itself every time. How many did I have in here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and then we're going to open these up. Okay. And now we are going to fuck around in here. This is where things can get a little bit tricky, but it can also be extremely fun. So let's go ahead and go into our meshes folder. We're going to get small for one of them. We're going to open it up. We are going to do auto compute and we are going to do that. My FPS is going to fucking plummet, but it's okay. And then we need to, boom, drag and drop that in right there. Now we need to... I'm just going to fucking say screw my FPS. You'll understand what is going on, and that is okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Tree three, we're going to grab one more from you. And then we're going to go into full. And we're going to grab that. And we're going to put that in there. And. Oh, boom. What shaders are you? Oh, my God. Are you still compiling those? No, you're not anymore. Jesus. All right. And then we're going to save all these. And then in here, we are going to type tree one, tree two, tree three, tree four. All right, and that is pretty much that. You can go ahead and close that out. Now, here in tree one, we got some things we can do here. We do not want to align it to the normal. We want a random yaw, that is fine. We don't want a pitch angle. Uh, we want it to go in, you know, line to anything that's up to a 45 degree angle. The height is in Z. Negative 26 is uh, whatever number that is. So basically, where is it at? That this line right here is zero. So it will spawn 26,000 something this way, 26,000 something this way. It will continue to spawn. Uh, for collision, I'd say that's about fine. The initial seed density... Okay, so number of steps. I'm getting ahead of myself here. The number of steps applies to growth. Now, growth is pretty much what it sounds like. And we can have 10 variations of this growth. So if we have it set to... We'll leave it at 3, which means that it will take this tree which was a it's a, a large full grown tree but it will shrink it to make it look like a baby tree as if your forest is growing but it's really not so i'm gonna make this 0.5 we're gonna leave all these the same here uh block all And save. And then in here, we're going to do the same. I'm actually going to take this and make this to 
Um, uh, actually missing something. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. I don't remember where it's at. Uh, it'll come to me. Holy stretched. Um. Where, oh, is it in this tag down? There it is. I told you it would come to me. So, inside exclusion layers, we want to type stone. Because we don't want trees growing on the side of the mountain, and we don't want them growing on this, and I'm pretty sure it's up to you. I'm not here to run your life, but I don't want them growing on my dirt in case I have a dirt path. So now we're going to save that, and then we're going to do the same thing again here. Stone, and <gasps> lay dirt. And then save it. And I'm probably going to fucking regret it, but I'm going to leave this one how it sits, because I don't feel like doing that again. Stone. And add another one. And it's dirt. This landscape really isn't that big anyway, so it shouldn't have... I need to uncheck that. So... Oh, God damn it, Josh. Okay, I did do that. So it should be a fizzity okay. Uh, stone. Dirt. I got fucking sidetracked in trying to find that thing. So anyway, collision radius, you can highlight over these and it'll tell you exactly what they do. Um, but this determines when two instances will overlap and if they're both the exact same. So basically, if tree 1 and tree 2, which that's 4 and 3, but whatever try to spawn in the same exact area, it will have an argument and it will say, do I want you to be there or do I want you to be there? Which one of you do I want here? And it will just, it'll pick one and whichever one has the highest collision radius will win. So I really should change that. You should for sure change that on mine. I have them in multiple different things, but they're all 100 here. Um, let's bring these all back to their respect levels so I can make this easier to read for all of these what happened there oh my god it tried to run away what stop it <sighs> but yeah so that should be all of those I'm really bad at landscape tutorials probably won't do another one then you take this sucker and you drag it out and then we go to top if I can click top, Jesus Christ. Oh, hello, wireframe. I don't like you. And, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, boy. Trees, because that's what I named it. Uh, if you go into details, scroll all the way up. If you want it in the middle of your platform, use zero, zero, zero. And there we are, dead in the middle. And I'm going to shoot my shit here and say this is a thousand. Okay, maybe not. What is it, 300 then? 200? Two fifty. Yeah, there it is. And then I'm just gonna say thirty, even though I typed in twenty, don't listen to me, I'm a liar. Uh left, and then we're gonna pull this up a little bit. Okay, let's we're actually gonna make that thirty. I told you it should have been thirty, y'all didn't listen. And then you have to come down, 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 down. Always uncheck allow static mesh. Do not allow static meshes. And re-simulate. And this may crash. Okay, it didn't crash, but hey, here we are. Look at that. One hell of a fucking forest, boy. And if we click play, my computer's probably going to die. Oh, it didn't. Oh, shit. Okay. The stream's a little glitchy. I can see it out the corner of my eye. But there you go. Now you have an auto landscape. That automatically places all your grass, and I'm looking up his crotch, let me not do that. There we go, look Adam and Eve style. Um, but yeah, there you have it. The auto landscape material. Um, if you didn't really understand how to do that, I apologize. Send me a message or something, and I'll try to break it down easier for you to understand. 
Um, and that's how you use procedural foliage. You can take the procedural foliage. Let me get out of here so I stop staring at that dude's hoo-ha. Um, get that out of here. Okay. So... Oh, yeah, and if you haven't already, join the Discord. I completely forgot about that. Thanks, Cole. Um, but, yeah, so you know how to use or how to make a procedural. A landscape auto material. Can't talk. Um, and, you know, make the grass show up wherever it is. Actually, I will do one more thing for you guys. Remember that culling distance I was talking about? This right here is what I was talking about when it comes to culling. Culling is another word to say uh, distance. So what we're going to do is go back into here. And was it in here? No, it was not. It was in here. And if I change the end call distance to, say, some outrageous fucking number, now it will never stop. Well, I mean, it would if the landscape went further. But... As you can see with that cold distance like that. Why is that block like that? It's only that square. That's really bugging me. But that's what cold distance is. It's almost, think of it as view distance. Oh, oops. There we go. And now we're back to how it was right there. So, yeah. That's, that's culling. View distance is what I guess Unreal calls culling. Um, as far as this, if you want random rotation of the grass, you have it checked. Um, cast shadows, yes. Receive decals. Uh, what that means is, so if you're playing a game, or if you, you've you played a game in your life, god damn Josh, you're not fucking three years old. Um, and say you shoot somebody and blood comes out of them. Blood is a decal, 9 times out of 10, and if you tell this to receive a decal, then when the blood comes out of them and lands on the ground, the grass will become covered. If this was unchecked, the grass would act as if it never saw the blood whatsoever. Uh, again, scaling, if you have it set to free, it does what it wants. Lock to X and the Y, they will all be the same height, they will all be the same direction, they will all be the same everything. Uniform just means, like, they... I don't know, actually, what uniform means. Let's see, if we change that right now, will that make a difference? Let me rebuild my grass map. Okay, it didn't make a difference. Then I actually don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah, I mean, well, that's obvious. Minimum LLD. I want to say if you set that to zero, then it makes it to where it starts off at zero. If you do negative one, I am I think that negative one... Here, let me see. Negative one makes it to where it always... Yeah, see, now I'm like 70, 70 80 FPS, 90 in some cases. Um... Makes it to where it continuously stays at its given highest LOD. And it won't change, like, distance-wise. Uh, use grid. Oh, use grid is like this grid thingy right here that we keep flying through that I can't stop at. But that's the grid. Um, placement jitter? I actually don't know. Half of these I've never really messed with. I'm just trying to give you like information that I do know for you to know. So now you know. Because that's how that works. Um, but yeah. This has taken now an hour and ten minutes. I mean, the landscape itself was done a long time ago. But any questions, comments, concerns, join my Discord if you're not there already. And in the UE4 tutorial area, there is a section for help. Feel free to ping me at any time, because if you don't, most likely I will not see it. And uh, we'll go from there. But that's how you do that. If y'all want to see a tutorial, because I actually do know what I'm doing and other things when it not come when it doesn't come to fucking landscapes. I'm still new to all this, but 
I know some people don't know how to do it at all, because that was me at one point, and then I learned, so I figured I'd teach. Anyway, if you use World Machine, um, send me a message, or comment, or whatever, join the Discord and message me, however, um, and if you want to see how to import World Machine terrains into UE4, and do the whole measurement thing and blase blase to make them look nice. Let me know and I'll make a tutorial on that. Um, but that's pretty much all I got right now. That's it. We're done. Uh, if there is a specific tutorial that you would like me to try and do, again, message me, let me know, and I'll work on getting it done and then record it and let you know how it goes. So, alright, that's it for me then.